What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, New Money. You know what I'm saying? I know it's been a minute since I've been around. Just wanted to come back on and let y'all know what's good. I've been going on live. You know what I'm saying? You got some things cooking. Y'all just got to be a little patient. I know y'all been patiently waiting. And I don't mean to have nobody waiting. But uh, a lot of crooked, stupid, silly shit been going on. As far as on the business side for me. So I had to like regroup. Get a lot of things. Get my ducks in the row so I can make some real things happen for myself. You feel me? But you know, motherfuckers, I promise you the world. And deliver you nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just want to reach out to y'all out there, all, all my YouTube peoples, you know what I'm saying? People that subscribe to my channel. Because I, I haven't been doing this live video shit for, you know what I'm saying, for a minute, except on Facebook and uh, Instagram. But uh, I'm big heavy on uh, boxing, you know what I'm saying? I've been spending a lot of time on the boxing and um, checking out things, watching all the new come ups and. Uh, all the ducking and shit that's going on in the boxing game. It's got me really frustrated to the point where I decided to come on live on YouTube and talk about this shit. Because those who don't know, Deontay Wilder, he's the uh, American heavyweight champ. Okay? And um, he's been trying to make a fight with this mark over uh, seas by the name of uh, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> but they call him Anthony Johnson and shit. AJ, Ass Juice, whatever you want to call him. But um, he been really like, a, he been a big fraud. You know, he been a big fake, fake person. You know what I'm saying? And uh, me being a, a boxing fan, you know what I'm saying? And I like to support the boxers who are out there trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to see good fights. I like to see the best fight the best. And um, it's really discouraging. This era in boxing is a very, very weak era. This is like the worst era ever in the history of boxing. But once again, let me introduce myself. This is New Money. You're on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe by hitting that bell, that bell button, that icon button, and uh, follow your boy. So when I upload new content on this channel, y'all can get the first, be the first to know what's going on. The information I get is I get it, I'll let you know. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all don't know, I've been checking out a lot of cats that really started booting up on YouTube. Like the uh, group called LDBC. I like them guys. You know what I'm saying? I listen to them. I comment, call in. But um, shout out to them brothers as well, man. They some real hard workers. They are some real hard workers. There's a lot of them on the team out there. The Smoke City Mobcast, I like them guys. You know, they're part of the LDBC. And uh, they come on every Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? And then 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hour. Depends on where you at. You know what I'm saying? But uh, definitely check them out. They, they keep it 100 and trill. They keeps it really 100. So, I just want to come down here and test this out. See how this works. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't been doing this. But I'm going to start doing it more often. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start doing this more often. And, uh... Then y'all know what's good. What's happening for the music. I got some new shit coming out. You know what I'm saying? My other artist, Rob Funk. He's another bad dude. Gonna be dropping some shit. You can check him out. He got some stuff right now that's really popping on WKKC radio station. It's a love song called It Was Always You. <laughs> He's singing on that. But, uh... Shout out to my producer, Funk Lord. You know what I'm saying? For lacing me with these dope ass tracks. But, uh, 
again. I've been watching and keeping the game in the boxing scene, and I see how a lot of these guys out here call themselves fighters and champions and shit, ducking one another, man, ducking all these, you know what I'm saying, good fights. Like, I'm disgusted with Sean Porter right now. He's a man who said that um, he was going to go ahead and fight Earl Spence Jr. It's going to be the easiest fight to make. And the man ain't did shit but backstep and backpedal and ran away from the man. You dig? I thought we was going to see that fight this year. You know what I'm saying? Or early next year or something. But um, to my amaze, he, he on that bullshit once again. He playing, he, he doing his dance. These motherfuckers keep dancing away. Keith Thurman is a, is a no-show. Nobody know where he had if you ever heard of him. The dude with the ponytail. You better not duck me, son. That dude there. And he doing a lot of ducking himself. Won't fight Crawford or Spence. And I actually think, I actually believe that at one point in time he had an opportunity, you know what I'm saying? With his skills, he could beat either one of these guys. You know what I'm saying? But I guess he just don't have the heart. He don't have the, he don't believe in himself or have the confidence to fight none of these guys. So he been on a long vacation ever since he found some pussy. He been on a long vacation. You know what I'm saying? But uh, back to me. I'm gonna keep y'all updated on most shit. You know what I'm saying? As I bring it to you live, you feel me? I'm gonna keep y'all updated on some real hot shit I got going on. I'm about to drop on the scene in a minute. But once again, thank you for your patience. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, New Money. The only and original, New Money.